Gentlemen, please take your seats. Our program will begin in five minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, there is plenty of seating in the front of the room, so please take a seat. We'll be starting shortly. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. Our program will begin in two minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. We are about to begin.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jed Meyer, EVP of Corporate Research at Univision Communications and Chair of the ARF Board of Directors. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. If you can use... Good morning, how appropriate. We have Mr. Sinatra. Uh, welcome, on behalf of the Board of Directors, welcome uh, to Audience Measurement. We're really delighted you could join us. I want to say a heartfelt welcome to Jersey City. I'm sure for many of you, this is probably your first time to Jersey City. I hope you're enjoying uh, the city, the venue. Maybe if you're staying overnight, you take a walk on the, uh, on the waterfront. It's a lovely spot. I'm not on the Chamber of Commerce here, but some have suggested that I may be looking for the Chamber of Commerce for future employment as well. Um, I want to just open very briefly to say I think we've got a great lineup of speakers and panels and presentations for you today and tomorrow. Uh, we really appreciate you coming and we appreciate your feedback. Um, if any of you, and Josh made a joke about this at the breakfast session, uh, we ask for surveys a lot. If any of you are, are under any doubt that surveys work, I can tell you after the survey from our annual conference, surveys work. Uh, we, we, we got the feedback, we heard the feedback from many of you. Uh, the, uh, the entire staff of the ARF uh, took a lot of the feedback to heart and I think you'll find this venue to be much uh, more appealing, uh, quieter, more, uh, more um, climate controlled than many other things that uh, we, th we hope will help make for a much better uh, conference. In addition, I hope you'll uh, enjoy uh, my, the next speaker, who's Scott McDonald, who's the, uh, our new CEO. You'll see his fingerprints on the agenda for this conference. I think you'll appreciate the spirit of innovation that uh, Scott is bringing uh, to the ARF, uh, the spirit of new thinking. We're going to try a bunch of things. Some of them will work, such as a conference in Jersey City. Uh, we hope that works. Uh, some of them may not work, but we're going to continue to experiment. Uh, in that process, we need your feedback. So please uh, talk to Scott, talk to the staff, talk to me and the other board of directors, fill out your surveys. Uh, we can only make the organization as strong as the feedback we get from you and, and, and the input we get from you. Uh, so we look forward to bringing you a lot of good content over the next two days and into the future. And without further ado, I'm going to introduce uh, Scott McDonald. Hey, good morning and welcome to New Jersey. I'm really excited to be here um, amidst so much New Jersey music that the staff has put together. I think, you know, it's pretty kaleidoscopic, uh, um, retro Jerseyness. It'll be fun. Um, since its inception, the uh, ARF has focused on how to measure audiences exposed to media and advertising both. Uh, and that reflects the uniquely central role of audience measurement in our media ecosystem um, since the size and the nature of a medium's uh, audience uh, is and has traditionally been the basis for setting the price uh, for that medium. And from, of course, the media perspective, if you can't measure it, you can't sell it. Uh, from the advertiser's perspective, uh, if you can't measure it, you don't know what you bought. Um, and so, at least in the classic sense, this has been central not only to the ecosystem, but it's been one of the core franchises for research at the ARF from uh, its very earliest days in the 1930s. That said, we still, I think, have uh, a ways to go. Uh, we've made many incremental improvements in measuring audiences, but of course the pace of change of what we're trying to measure, of how consumers use media, of where advertising might be encountered uh, continues to diversify. Uh, and at the same time, we've probably had, we've been part of a, a, of a broader cultural shift that's maybe been a bit more relativistic, maybe in some cases a bit more cynical about um, the, uh, the veracity of some of the numbers that get uh, thrown around. Um, I know back when I was learning statistics in college, one of the uh, favorite books to, um, uh, assigned to undergraduates was a little book called How to Lie with Statistics. Um, and of, of course, you know, we all know the tricks. We know that if we want to make something look bigger, you know, you put on the ratio of scale instead of reporting a difference, we know. Um, uh, and in fact, that is key to one of the things that is probably one source of, of, um, of flim flammery in our business, uh, that chasing always of the bigger number. Um, you know, the, 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 the notion that big numbers will always drive small numbers out 
uh, and, uh, and, and that affection for the ever larger number is, is something that probably gets us into some trouble. I come out of uh, um, you know, the background in print media, and, and certainly, in my view, print has never been um, effective in competing with other media with regard to reach, and yet the bigger the better, and certainly when we move over into the digital side, that same tendency, that same bias uh, has uh, afflicted us. And so we frequently will be uh, reading in uh, the popular press uh, numbers that we know are crazy. You know, our medium reaches, you know, 300 million Americans. R really? You think so? Uh, you know, uh, you know or, or claims about uh, all of millennials doing X, Y, or Z without really any substantiation. We, we know that these uh, kinds of uh, biases and, and errors will sneak into our uh, uh, conceptions and our conversations about media. And the job of the ARF is, of course, to try to help say, stop a minute and, and, and think about what are the bases uh, for uh, evaluating any kind of quantitative or qualitative claim. And that, in particular, I think, is the, is the role of this particular conference, the Audience Measurement uh, Conference. Uh, I was struck by a piece that ran in Media Post uh, uh, about a month or two ago. Uh, I think it was a Research Now study that was systematically comparing uh, a sample of 250 advertising executives uh, on some basic sort of facts about media and comparing that to the sort of best available research estimate uh, of, of, that, um, of, of that media behavior. And in particular, they, the, the one that caught my eye was a, was a comparison asking people, well, what percentage of time uh, watching television does the American public spend watching TV on a, a conventional television set. And the, uh, the mean estimate for the advertising executives was 32%. The estimate from Nielsen is 82%. Um, so this, this may be kind of an extrapolation from our own behavior. I've been in many situations where I hear uh, otherwise well-informed uh, uh, people in the field extrapolate from a sample of one, their 17-year-old kid, uh, and, and, and knowing that you know, they shouldn't be doing that, but they will go out and generalize about uh, millennials or whatever. So that's what we are here to address, uh, along with all of the sort of cutting edge questions about how we move forward. It's never been easy to measure audiences, uh, even in the days when the ARF was founded and it was focused on uh, radio audiences and, and, and print audiences. Um, it's, of course, gotten much trickier as those audiences have fragmented, as attention spans have uh, shortened uh, and, and drifted off into multitasking and, and much more elusive attentions, uh, and as the platforms have uh, proliferated. Uh, our program today uh, looks at some of those approaches that are being taken uh, to bring order and consistency, in particular this morning, to television audience measurement. Uh, uh, wrestling with questions of how we actually get comparability across this fragmented uh, uh, landscape, um, regardless of platform or screen or uh, mechanism of distribution. Uh, and that's a theme that uh, I see carries over into many of the curated sessions in the deep dives uh, this morning and this afternoon. Uh, we'll reconvene in the afternoon, back in plenary session, to consider a very different threat uh, to audience measurement. Uh, specifically to digital audience measurement. It's the one that arises from the uh, introduction of bots and non-human traffic, uh, much of it fraudulently introduced uh, into the audience stream. Uh, and I think in what will be a very, very interesting session, I do encourage you to attend it, uh, uh, the, the first um, sort of, at least that I'm aware of, the first big public uh, uh, discussion of the potential for blockchain technology uh, to um, help sort of manage and reduce the, um, uh, the, the, the problems coming from that supply chain corruption. Uh, but to kick it off this morning, it's my pleasure to introduce uh, someone who needs no introduction in this crowd, I suspect, uh, Howard Schimmel, the uh, Chief Research Officer of Turner Broadcasting, who will uh, kick off the first of the morning panel. So, Howard. It's my 